Tintoria is a corporate entity that offers uh, dry cleaning and laundry services. We are also involved in community awareness uh, projects. We do corporate social responsibility. Uh, in short, we are a socially responsible citizen. We are celebrating our quarter century in business. We are very proud of it and, and very happy that in this journey we have been supported by, by our customers. Uh, and also we, 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 we have offered them a good quality. We started with uh, two branches, but now the company has grown and spread across the city. We are able to serve our clients in different parts of the city. Uh, and, and we are still growing. The key values of uh, Tintoria is to offer quality services to its customers. We are very clear that uh, ethics is a major driver of uh Keep three people there. Eh? Well, that was job, eh? Yes. Yeah, anything is anything. <laughs> okay, welcome. Today we are interviewing Mo Nyaoga, a veteran of this great club of railways. Welcome, Mo. Thank you, thank you, Solo. I want us to start with your journey in railways, how it began, and uh, what you think about what's going to happen in the future. Good. Um, I actually joined railways by, by chance in the sense that we used to play against railways mm. as Parkland Sports Club okay. and uh, with Scotty, um, we have Eva, ETC, ETC. So one day um, I encountered uh, Scotty at uh, Rayburn where he was teaching now. And uh, they invited me to join railways, okay. Scotty and Neil Page. And uh, at that time, actually, I was still playing for Parklands. Mm -hmm. And uh, I acceded to their request and um, joined railways. And I never looked back. Mm -hmm. uh, 20 years plus now mm -hmm. since I joined railways. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been quite uh, interesting because I've seen a metamorphosis of railways. Mm -hmm. I've seen hundreds of players come and leave. Some of them, we have retained the ties, we still talk, mm -hmm. but it's a great, a great family. Um, people like uh, yourself, we played for over 25 years from Strathmore. Yes. I saw uh, Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, Arthur, you know, that group. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made great friendships. Uh, it's a club that uh, I cherish uh, a lot. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, it's very interesting you're talking about Strathmore because I think the time you were here really had a different outlook. And I think you have a very great ancestry because I think a number of people, if you trace back their lineage, you'll find that more appears somewhere. Because I think by the time you're here, when I joined here, you're only with, with the, I think, Amolo and yourself and Moibi in terms of the that, that, protection of the team. That's correct. Mm. There's a time the team was heavily tilted to the foreigners, mm. um, the guys in the UN, guys in the embassies, uh, guys in the schools who were teaching, mm. international staff. Uh, but um, as time went by, the complexion of the team changed and um, we had more and more people uh, coming in mm -hmm. and uh, it's actually a few of us who are survivors mm -hmm. from the, the old railways. Oh, correct, correct. In fact, it's very interesting, when I, actually when I joined, you are my captain in the seconds. Yes, the captain in the seconds and then the vice chair. The vice chair, yes. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, interesting, you gave me my first two goals were two penalties. You, you trusted me in the early days. Yes. You just gave me the penalty. Yes, because you know there were people who were rushing for the ball. Yes. And I said, what do you mean? I mean, why do you feel that you're entitled to take the penalties? Yes. I said, solo, take them. Yes. And um, I remember one of them was on Dole. Yes. Not <laughs> <laughs> forget that. Oh, yeah, I remember it was in that pitch. I can't remember in Runda. In Runda. Yes. Yes. Very funny mm. pitch there. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. That's very interesting because at that time, also I remember when I joined railways, you used to play as a fullback, and I remember you played as a striker. And now you are a midfielder. Can you tell us how this metamorphosis? Very came interesting about? because when I was playing in the league. Mm. Um, let me go back to Parklands. Yes. At Parklands, I used to be a striker. Yes. And actually, I actually used to score very many goals against railways. Yes. Uh, dippers, they used to call them. You ask I saw in Kenya, they will tell you. Um, so in the league, I then shifted to play left defense. Mm. And yet, I'm not right footed. I'm yes. not, I'm not uh, left footed. Yes. But I played there for several years, uh, and at some point, when you joined railways, I was playing as a striker. Yes. Uh, at some point, I would go back and play as a defender. Yes. Uh, left, right, middle defender, mm. where I played with the Okeke yes. for several years. We never considered goals, if you, if you recall. Then I came into the, into the wing, mm -hmm. I would play striking. Uh, but now I've gone back to the midfield, the midfield mm. because my speed also has reduced as, I, as I've grown older. Yes. Yeah. But as much as you say that your speed has reduced, one thing I've realized uh, more in my time here in really, yes. I hardly remember you getting injured and I've been in this club I think 15 years. Is there a secret to this? For some kissy mitishamba or something of the sort? Or? No, <laughs> no, there's no mitishamba. <laughs> um, I think I must say that uh, I, I grew fully. I developed fully as I grew up, yeah. so that uh, all my muscles uh, fully developed, and like a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, but also, on a very serious note, I I swim. I swim twice a day. I swim in the morning, half an hour, half an hour in the evening. Mm -hmm. But also, I walk. I jog. Uh, I don't drink like most people, yes. so that my <laughs> energy is fully conserved. Yes. Um, I eat well. Mm -hmm. I don't eat uh, those very, you know, I don't process foods. I don't. Uh, so I look after my body. I do massage twice a week just to renew the muscles. And that's the secret. Before I come for any game, always, what I do is uh, I, I, have my, I have a leg massage just to warm the muscles, to stretch them so that I don't get, uh, don't get injured. You see me sometimes wearing a knee support because I had an injury here uh, when I was 16. Mm -hmm. when you are then um, training for, for Shabana. Mm -hmm. So it recurs sometimes. But otherwise, um, the way I feel, uh, I can play for another 10 years. And I suspect some mm -hmm. of you may retire <laughs> before I retire. <laughs> we hope so. Because we really hope to see you in the pitch for a long time. Yes. Another critical issue that I remember is at that time when I joined Railways, you used to take the free kicks and you used to say, trust me. I yes. think you always say, trust yes. me. Although today I saw you taking a fantastic free kick. Because what happens is that uh, there are a lot of guys here who seem to trust themselves more than anybody else. <laughs> you, they rush to a free kick, they rush to, to a penalty. Mm. But you see, I take corners. Yes. And my corners, very, 
uh, a lot of people can learn from them, if I may say so myself. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, about Shabana, and uh, of course Shabana and Relays is very different. I'm sure there's something you can talk about what happened at Shabana at that time and now. Yeah, Shabana, we were actually among the first people to be to be co-opted in Shabana. So it's, it's a small junior team. Um, and uh, what happened is that I actually started by playing as a keeper. Oh, I got this injury when I was playing as a keeper in Kisi Stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going for the ball and some guy just stepped on me and injured me. And I said I will never play soccer again. Mm -hmm. But I got back again, uh, played for the Shabana junior team, then senior briefly before uh, I then joined the university. Mm -hmm. So my dad told me, no football, just focus on education. Mm. So, so that's what happened. Interesting, and I think your love for football has gone for all your life, I can say. In fact, I remember when you invited me for your 50th birthday, the team was, you come with your favorite team shirt. I remember after the, it was after the World Cup or during the World Cup, I can't it remember. Was, yeah, it was during the World Cup, I think. Mm. And yeah. I think that still, you see that a lot of energy, you still have. I still have a lot of energy. Still a lot of, and I can see also you've done a lot for the club with Tintoria. Tell us something about this Tintoria tournament and what are your plans for the future? Yeah, when I joined Railways, I discovered that uh, actually we had a few tournaments in the year, uh, World Cup and the FA Cup. Mm -hmm. So I thought that we required another tournament basically to crown the year, yes. at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And that's how I came up with Tintoria, um, Tintoria Cup, which uh, my company sponsors. And it has grown uh, in leaps and bounds. I mean, it's now 15 years, I think, almost 15 years. Correct. And it's, it's, it's a tournament that everybody Enjoy. looks forward to. Yes. And uh, it is an internal tournament, as, 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 as you know. Mm. Yeah. And it has really, really grown, thanks to you. I mean, it's the most competitive uh, tournament, actually, in the club. It gets very, very feisty sometimes, but I think it's thanks to you. Uh, and what do you think about the club in the future? What do you think? I mean, when you joined and now, the ethos of the club, are they the same? Do you see there's a difference? The attitude? And... I think we have maintained um, the same traditions at, the, at, at Railways. Mm -hmm. um, we've tried to have some sort of culture among ourselves. Uh, obviously, um, as time goes by, there's a transformation of teams. Uh, but largely, I must mm. say that we have remained with the same, Either. same, same traditions mm -hmm. because we've tried to remain with the historical way the railways has been has been run in the past. Going forward, I can only see um, railways growing uh, more and more, mm -hmm. and um, I, I suspect that railways might be here for another hundred years. We won't be here ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, but we need, and, and I can see we are doing that a lot of succession planning mm. so that there are people who retire from railways but you see when we had the tournament for veterans at uh, um, gems the other day yes you saw a lot of guys who came in here who played it for railways mm. over 50 years ago yes correct. and uh, they still have that attachment mm. to railways yes railways becomes almost as uh, a cult in a, in, a, in a sense, correct. So I I, I have no fear that railways will fizzle out mm. uh, as long as uh, we keep those traditions going because that is why what binds us together. Correct. There's something that you're talking about uh, golf. I've played golf with you once. I'm a awful player, but I remember once you won the the longest drive. I think you've won it twice. Yeah. I, well, well, tell us something about that. I think it was a railways masters. I can't remember. Exactly. Yeah, my. You see, I can. Your say handicap. This. Or? Yeah, I can say this. Uh, I played golf from 1993, wow. but uh, quite frankly, I have a lot of contempt for golf. I don't <laughs> find that it, it pushes my body. Yes. Uh, but now as I grow older and also with the friends, mm. I found myself okay. playing more and more golf. Mm. Okay, my okay. secret, I'm easy on it. Mm -hmm. I don't put pressure on myself. Correct. I, I don't think I'm going to be Tiger Woods anyway. Mm. <laughs> so I just try to enjoy. Mm. I hit a bad mm. shot. Mm. I move on. Mm. A good shot. I move on. Mm. So it never bothers me like many other many other players. Mm. So I play now mm. twice a week, mm. three days a week when I can. Mm. There are times when I play golf in the morning, and I come and play football in the afternoon. Wow. No wonder you didn't get those injuries. Now as a parting choice, I think Mo, you've been a fantastic lawyer. 
well renowned. And I think what is the advice you give some of these young guys? You know, the club is getting younger and they're getting into this football, and also they have to mix with their profession. What do you tell? Them? What's your message to them? My message is simple. Mm. We are all managers of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are managers of our, our, our spirit, managers of our soul, mm -hmm. managers of our mind. Mm -hmm. As long as you manage your mind, your soul, your body, your spirit properly, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. As long as you remain consistent mm -hmm. and resilient mm -hmm. in whatever you do, mm -hmm. as long as you have a good attitude, mm -hmm. you have a, a spirit which is not captive. Okay. Uh, and you travel light, mm -hmm. you enjoy. Because mm -hmm. when I come here, one time I was playing at Kabete, and this young man walks at me and says, oh, and you so and so, I said, no. Uh, no, but you are so and so, I said, no. I'm just a player. Mm -hmm. So, the point I'm making here is that in life, don't let your position, wherever you are, determine the way you relate to people. I, th I think that's solid. And in fact, it's, I think you preach by example, because I know one thing more when you're in the team and you're a player, you respect the captain. Whenever it is, and you respect other players. And I think that's something also people need to... You've you never seen me get a, a yellow card? No, never seen me get a yellow card. Or abuse anybody? Yes. Or whatever it is? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's what it is. But I've heard you saying Brukenge. Where does this word Brukenge come from? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the things that I enjoy is good you mentioned yeah, that. Yes. One of the things that I enjoy in golf and football yes. is banter. Yes. That's I correct. like light moments. Yes. So I like sometimes just insulting guys on the pitch. Yes. Just lightly. Yes. When I don't mean it, I'll tell Tutu, what are you doing? Yes. Useless. <laughs> When I don't mean it, yes. it's just a light moment because you see, uh, that is how we relate. Correct. It's not too serious. Yes. Uh, I know you won't take it badly. I say yes. so low, you know you are drunk. Yes. I don't mean it. <laughs> All I mean is that, you know, let's, let's have that spirit. Correct. Free spirit. Correct. You enjoy the game, but also you enjoy the fun. Correct. Correct. The companionship. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Solo. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, I look forward uh, to continue playing here. You know, we look forward to we playing with, with everybody. everybody. And we're sure we'll definitely be here with you for very, very many years. So, pray for my muscles. Yeah, we'll pray for them. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll let the dogs out. Yeah. <laughs> in very rare occasions do we usually have a chance to be able to appreciate one of us <coughs> while they're still alive and uh, it was meant to be to happen at Tintoria but uh, unfortunately Mo wasn't around and we saw this as a great opportunity for us to be able to appreciate him for what he has done for us as far as Tintoria is concerned and also for him being more and the support that he's given the club over the years. So, Mo, Karibu Sama, I would appreciate you. Just to correct you, you don't say when I'm still alive, when I'm alive. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mo.
Ah, uh, when I'm still alive. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. 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 Tintoria is above the cut. Tintoria will continue to grow higher and higher in the quality of services they offer you. We can consider you as a major stakeholder. Stay with us. For those who are not with us,